Knowing that you have another person growing inside of you suddenly becomes this unbelievable responsibility. You just want to be prepared in the best possible way and to be informed because you feel like a big responsibility. For maybe for those nine months you almost feel like it's not even your body. You feel like it's your body is being used for a greater purpose. The start of this person's entire life is totally dependent on you and what you do and what you eat and where you go and you know you're just trying to give them the best start you really can. Leading up to becoming pregnant I had been already aware of environmental toxins and things that I should be careful of. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of women now are are sort of tuned into this. Preparing for a baby, I started thinking about, you know, the toxic stuff that a lot of the products have. And right away I said, forget about it, I'm not touching one chemical. I had found some studies online that talked about wireless radiation, and, and that's everything from cell phones to wireless internet and things like that. The fetus is perhaps the most vulnerable to these types of insults. The mice who were exposed to cell phones were more hyperactive. They were running around the cage a lot more aggressively. They had poorer memory. Um, they couldn't remember objects in the cage uh, as well as their counterparts who weren't exposed to the cell phone radiation. So they were running around these cages, bouncing off the walls, not a care in the world. Something that in our eyes resembles attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children. So when I read about that and I heard that that can impact um, an unborn child, I said to my husband, this is, this is it. You know, we have no option here. We have to, you know, make some really serious choices about how we're going to live our lives with wireless technology. We don't have wireless internet in our house. We try to use our cell phones sparingly and um, we just try to avoid those types of exposures if we can. I feel so grateful I have a really supportive partner. When I told them we were going to wire the house, for example, hardwire our brand new house and, you know, drill holes through the floors and the walls and, you know, so we would have wired internet, he said, okay, that sounds good. You want to offer this baby the best chance it can possibly have. And a large percentage of women are now in tune with this. So before they even become pregnant, if they know that that's sort of their plan, they can plan for this.